well this is what we got to deal with right now or working with I haven't got a final decision of what can be done to get us connection in here but this is looks like the back part of the RV part I'm thinking this barrier here is probably the possibly the property line but I won't know that unless I confirm it with the owner but if you look right there in the middle that's the tap that we need to get into according to spectrum to get our connection but there's a big ditch between there and here and they don't lay lines through ditches it has to be buried so they said if we can get like a driveway put in there that we, they can put it down in that as it crosses and far as they can go is like 250 300 feet from that tap and that would get us on this property but we would have to figure out get power here and all that to get to this area because this is the part that we'll be feeding all 75 of them we wanted to tap or the drop line to go up there to them rvs you see up there on the left but we didn't know if there was another tap or anything and that's been confirmed that the one behind me is the closest one because there is a mobile home across the street that has service so we're just waiting for spectrum to he said he was out here and he took some pictures and looking different ways to get it over here now we do have power here you know from this uh, stub up here so i don't know what the owner is willing to do to get me power out here don't know going to be a unique way of getting in here but we will see see what it would take i mean now if i have to i do like i did one rv park see the uh, fence up there that's the right side of the entrance of coming in here the road is on the left side of that fence now all the way to the end if you look in the middle of that fence close enough you see there's a home right up there they already got service now if we have to the owner said they he knows the owner there of that home and they've been very kind and everything to him so far helping him out in any way possible maybe we put a, a access point there a relay from there and send it out and get it into the park and then build out infrastructure to get it out to all of these locations so maybe we'll get a connection there and beam it over here to the rvs over there to the left then set up an ap and go from there we don't know it'd be nice if we can get connection here but then we got the power problem that we have no power and you can't go really over 300 feet from their boosters because the signal will just be crappy but we'll see time will tell i'm going to another rv park and check an ap that's been flush waiting up and down for whatever reason it may be a bad wire or power surge messed up the configuration in the radio i don't know i rebooted it and stuff but now i need to go up there and i'm gonna put a temporary ap up there and get everybody connected so i can factory reset that one and see if i can find anything else when i get up there it might be that the wire from the radio to the antenna might be loose it's been up there quite some time so let's go check that out all right we have this up here as the temporary radio as an access point and so far sitting here for a good 10 15 minutes of course it's not a good signal as the omni but we haven't had any to drop out at all it's just sitting here people streaming checking the <clears throat> I checked the uh, each one and some of them streaming 5, 10, 
just like normal. But so far, it's stable. And the only thing I've did is set that radio up as an access point and took this radio down and brought it in the game room, cleaned it up, set it back to factory, reprogrammed it for this tower here. I'm going to plug it back in, come back, and monitor all this again and see if, we'll, if it will stay stable as this is. But I'm going to sit here for another 10 minutes and see if it drops out. Because usually within 15 minutes, it, it drops out. At least one will just drop out. Especially when the lines are showing 0 to 60 nine percent potential but the signals are like in the 40s you know negative 40s and 50s so it's got good connection to each one but we're going to sit here and see if this does anything if not i'm going to switch out and i did find the antenna wires the little jumpers on the prism they were very loose I didn't have to have my little six inch adjustable to actually remove them. I can just wiggle the wire and I can see the nut that holds them on moving. And I just finger, two fingers, and it just came right off with no stress whatsoever. So I'm thinking wind up there blowing and it's just losing connection. Now the GPS screw on in the middle of the radio was to the point where I actually had to use the adjustable to get it off. But these here, I can almost just, you know, one of these, I can't remember which one, but I, I was able just to touch the, the, the nut on it with one finger like this and unscrew it. As soon as I took the plastic uh, covering off, I can actually unscrew it completely with one finger. This one, I actually had to get two fingers on it. But as soon as I went that much, I was able to use one finger. So I'm thinking the wind was blowing and it was just making a bad connection here on this and here for the antenna itself, the Omni antenna. That's what I've seen that could cause that issue. But I went on and reprogrammed it <clears throat> and uh, cleaned it up and see if it's going to solve the problem by doing all that. Because if it was the wire, I don't think... Um, I would have this stability of this radio using the exact same wire from the router upside the building to the AP. It just stays. So I'm thinking it's going to be loose connections here. One way to find out. Put it back up, plug it in, come back down here and get a cup of coffee and uh, monitor it. All right, this is what we have. Sitting up there, you see the dish sending to the next tower. And we got the Omni up there. If you look at the bottom of the Omni, you see that little AP that I put up there temporary, but we're gonna go up there and uh, see if this is what the issue was. So let's get up there and get it done. Hopefully this works, because this is the only thing we have right now. And probably next week we'll go to the next two towers and go ahead and do some maintenance on it. Check the wires, connections and stuff. Since this is the oldest, well, yeah, it's the oldest uh, RV that part that we have that we got connection in that I have not checked. The antennas because we have to have this big freaking ladder which is a I don't even know what it's a 24 foot and I don't have but a 16 so it wasn't quite enough I really don't have to stand this one out that much but let's get up here and see what we can do with this yeah, this is what we have up here, just temporary, right there. But 
these are the ones that were loose on both ends. I can just take it and undo them both with my fingers. I'm gonna snug them up. Make sure they're snugged. Now we'll put the radio in. Get this sucker to start. There we go. Hadn't caught the thread yet. All right, we got that one. Before we move to the next one, we'll go ahead and snug this one up. Just about a quarter turn. Like that. We'll get here and get this one. It's a little windy up here today. Feels good. Snug that one. Alright, now we get the GPS over here. Tie it on. Snug. There we go. Get the weather protector on it. Make sure they're on there real good. Okay. They're on there. Now open up this bad boy. And uh, kill this one. Temporary thing. Run this wire. We get right up in here. Somewhere. Where's the plug? Where's the plug? In there somewhere. There we go. All right. We got that one. That was in there. Now we just need to zip tie that right back on there I'm gonna look on my radio or my phone and look at the uh, radio come back online and see what it's doing all right got it connected I don't know if you can see it or not but the lights are on Communicate traffic is going. Let's go in the uh, game room and see if uh, see how stable it is. But that's the RV park. At least that's in the middle of it. Then beyond them trees is another section, and then there's another section next to the water. But this antenna, this AB feeds this area. Let's go check and see how sturdy and stable it is now. Well, looks like there's an issue with that radio because you see people actually dropping off and it's been running for like 10 minutes. Putting it back after it's programmed, cleaned, reconnected people are dropping off so it seems like there's a problem with that radio 
So I'm going to put that temporary one back up and just let it sit there until I order another one of these. And see uh, how long it's going to take to get one of them in if it's actually available. But that's what's happening dropping out. And it's on the same frequency as the temporary AP as well. And you see people dropping off. As you see, the names are starting to turn. As you can see, they turn like white it out and then they come back and some not even connecting at all one at the very bottom has not connected back at all since I put that prism rocket 2 AC back up Looks like I'm going to order another radio. I was hoping it wasn't a radio. Hopefully it was a wire or something simple. Loose connection or something. And that one just connected back. That bottom one's still red and has not connected yet. I don't believe it would be the red, uh, the antenna. I do have another antenna, but it's a, almost impossible to put up well there because I don't have enough pole because it's a big sector to mount it on. Yeah, okay, now the top one connected, but the bottom's still not reconnected yet at all. Sit here long enough, you'll see the ones that's in orange. They should have real good connection because you know, the line of sight on that Omni antenna. Yep, there goes the top one, drop right back out. Maybe I'll go get that big old sector and try it and just uh, eliminate because I hate to spend, you know. 200 some dollars on a radio and come find out that wasn't a problem and that radio just sits and not being used because this is the only part that I use two gigahertz in. So I guess that's what we're going to do next. Eliminate the antenna. I mean it can be simple a lightning struck it or I don't know. But we got to eliminate and be sure. Eliminate everything. We eliminated the wire. The only thing we hadn't eliminated it yet is the antenna. So we'll see what we can do about that. That's the radio, or that's the antenna that we're using. Hopefully that's focus I can't see on the screen but it is the AMO-2G10 so we'll see what we can come up with testing the radio back at the RV and leave this as a temporary thing until we figure out what we're going to do as soon as we figure out exactly what the issue is, the radio or is it the antenna? Well, as you can see, the temporary AP been running for 28 minutes and it has been looking this way all that time. Might not have the best potential connection but their numbers are real good 
negative 40s, negative 50s. I think there might be one or two maybe in negative 60 something. But as you see, the numbers are real good. We got a negative 73 and a 69 and 67, 68, 72 at the top. But they're stable. No dropouts. No dropouts at all. I'm just going to sit right here. I just made me a, a, a cup of coffee. And I'm going to just sit here and monitor this. And see if it does anything. While I figure out what I'm going to do about the radio. I do have a unusual idea of trying and see if it's the antenna or not. We'll have to get a radio's and tie to it and see. Give access to the uh, the AP here and program a CPE and plug it into my laptop and monitor it that way and see if just one CPE tied to it and see if it makes a difference or not. I got a few CPEs I can program to it and just plug them in and let them sit here in RV. And I notice it dropped out, even though there's only one or two clients that's actually using it. So it's not like heavy under stress that's making it drop out. So I can actually put on a 4K video and let it stream and tie something else on the other one and see what happens. But so far, basically it's been 30 minutes and this thing's been running. So we'll see. All right, now that I got it back here at the RV, I noticed, since I'm not in broad daylight, notice that the power light is not acting as it should. It says it's supposed to come on and don't say nothing about it, supposed to go back off or anything else. And I looked on some videos on YouTube, somebody installing one of these and the 5 gigahertz and also the 5 gigahertz that's on top of my RV, the light is on. And I noticed when I plug this in, it comes on, but eventually it goes out. And then eventually it goes completely out. And then the radio starts having a hum to it. I don't know if it'll pick up on the camera microphone or not. I'm trying to see if you can pick it up on the microphone. As you can see, the light is trying to flicker. And by my human eye, even with my glasses on, I don't even see it looking at it directly, but the camera is actually picking it up. And get it to focus even more. focus now but you can't see the light turn the light off you see it but me looking directly at it I don't see it but through the lens of the camera I can see it flash every now and then but now I don't even see it even through the camera oh there it goes and it's humming so I think it probably is the radio now that I see that actually happening 
So with the radio actually humming and the power light is actually going out, I do believe it's going to be the radio because I've done a factory reset, reprogrammed, and that does make sense because if I power it up, people start connecting, and then it starts getting weak, then people start dropping out. So it seems like it's the radio because as I see here online, what it says, it says the uh, LED light, let's see where it says the power light, let's see right here, yeah, the power light LED will light blue when the device is connected to the power source. Nowhere did I read anywhere or did I see any radio the light will actually go out after it's powered up. It's supposed to stay on. So the radio is history. So I'm going to have to order another one. But right now, this is still going strong. And as you see, even the bottom one now, since it's on this temporary radio, it's even connected. And this radio has been running one hour uptime. And it has not glitched, dropped anybody off at all. I got it projected to my TV so I can watch other screens and do some research and stuff. And not once, not at all, has it dropped anybody out. So it looks like I'm just going to have to get another radio. At least I got them temporary set up so they can actually still use the internet. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It helps it out. And share this video as well. Thanks for watching.